Now let's talk about how to actually find investments on the Weeble platform. There's a number of different strategies you can use to find investments. So now let's break those down right now. So there are a number of different ways to find investments on the Weeble platform, specifically stocks to invest in. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do here is from the home screen, head over to the markets tab. And on this tab, there's a lot of stuff going on, okay? But what you're gonna to wanna to do uh, for, for the basics of finding stocks, okay, we're gonna go through a basic method and then a more advanced method. So for the basic method, you're gonna scroll down here and what you can find is some of the most popular stocks that are um, seeing a lot of action right now, okay? So if, you're, if your trading strategy revolves like short-term, like momentum trading, like this could be a great way to do that. And that basically just means finding companies that are like on the way up and trying to like hop on the rocket ship while it's on the way up. So if that's what you're doing, this could be a great way to do that. But for longer term investors, okay, there's there's some other strategies you're gonna wanna follow. Uh, so we're gonna get into those in a little bit. But you can kind of find the, the stocks here that are either popping off in the last five minutes, the last day, five days, month, three months. So it's, it's really cool. You can really find the stocks that are performing very well uh, over whatever period of time kind of aligns with your trading strategy. So that's that's good. And then you can also find the top losers here. If your strategy revolves around finding companies that are kind of underperforming right now and maybe thinking they're gonna turn around, that could be a great way to do that as well. Also, you're gonna find the most active stocks. So these are the ones that the most people are buying and selling at any given time. So you two, you've got uh, Sundial Growers, uh, Naked Brand, like these are all very popular stocks right now. And then some hot ETFs as well. So um, these are just kind of tracking market indexes as a whole. So the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, et cetera, all pretty straightforward there. And then the best performing industries down here, this is a really cool area because it shows you what industries as a whole are performing fairly well. So you can see that financial technology, FinTech is doing very well as is insurance, holding companies, okay? So like those are your uh, your SPACs, those are doing very well right now. So you've got SPACs, your business, professional education, things of that nature you can select again based on the however long of a duration you want to look at here as well so that's that's all, all very cool but that's that's kind of the basics okay that's how you find that the trendy companies that are really popping off right now but if you want to take it a little bit further okay do a little bit more research here uh find some find some maybe potentially higher quality stocks what you're going to want to do is in the top right hand corner here there's a magnifying glass you tap on that and then you'll tap on screeners and what this is going to allow you to do is screen for particular stocks that meet particular qualities so what we could do here is say create a new screener uh, say we want to invest in stocks that are in the united states okay so we'll select the united states pretty straightforward you can select if you want them to be on a certain exchange so if you want them to be on the new york stock exchange the nasdaq the american stock exchange etc you could select a particular sector so say we wanted to invest in um, renewable energy companies okay so we're finding renewable energy companies we could sort them by or kind of filter them by their market capitalization so this is the size of the company so if it's a larger company the market cap is going to be bigger in general 10 billion dollars or more is what's called a large cap or, or generally just a large company in general is 10 billion dollars in value or more for the market cap. So let's say we want to find large um, companies that are in the renewable energy space. So we'll drag this guy from um, five or, or rather $10 billion all the way up to the, the maximum. Okay. So we're going to start with about $10 billion. We'll start about there. We'll say done. So we're only looking for large companies. We could filter by the share price, the percentage change over the last period of time, the volume, that's how many shares are changing hands. We could filter by any of these, any of these indicators here, which you don't need to go too in depth on, but we'll just say, let's say we're looking for large uh, renewable energy companies. So we can say review results. There are six stocks that, that fit our categories here. So we can see these are the stocks that kind of fit our criteria. So this is a great way to kind of filter. If you know you want to invest in say the renewable energy sector or uh, in FinTech, or whatever, you can just filter by that particular sector, how big the company is, and a whole bunch of other indicators that will help you find those stocks that really align with your strategies. This is called the stock screener. And these, these are not offered on a ton of trading apps. They're offered on a lot of uh, kind of desktop trading stations. But for, for, for phones, uh, this is kind of one of the best ones out there. So you can either save this screener up here in the top right-hand corner. You could add all these to your watch list. You could do whatever you want with this particular results. Or you could come back here and change the filters, pick a different sector, whatever you want to do. So it's a very useful way to find stocks on the Webull app is through their built-in stock screener.